Hello, this is Toby Salgado, and I'm making my sear wheel. Um, so, uh, here we go. Part of it. So the right size, the right size for the sear wheel is your height plus a fist. It's about three inches. So what I used, what I used was 6061 aluminum tubing with a, can't see it very well. Uh, three sixteenths inch wool. A lot of people just use uh, eighth inch wool, but I use three sixteenths. I wanted a little bit more firm. Uh, I used uh, Schedule Forty three quarter six oh six aluminum wrapped in this tape, um, and it's this tape here. It's aluminum tape that I use as a shim, so that when I put in here. Oh, it fits really solid. <clears throat> right now, what I'm trying to do is I am trying to skin it. This is gnarly. Um, <clears throat> so I found my my tubing. Found my tubing. And as you can see, I'm about a halfway on. Um, it is It is brutally hard. So what I did was... I have my air compressor, and here, if you can see that, I drilled a little jig. So what I did was I took, I found a piece of board, the inner diameter of that tube is an inch and a half. So I took a, a cutout, an inch and a half hole uh, with, my, with my hole saw, and I put it in the tube. So what I'm trying to do is get air in here to expand the tube, to open it up and get it on. And it is extremely hard. On this side, I did the same deal. I actually cut a plastic, it's in here, a, it was a rubber insert, a rubber insert. I. Shoved it in the tube, but I taped it on. So the idea is I blow air, it expands the tube, and I can slip it on easier. Now I'm out here working in the sun because the, the plastic, when it's cold, super hard, super hard to work. Um, so I've tried to use a torch on it, and that didn't work, so I left it out in the sun. I'm trying to get the pie pot um, to go ahead and, get, and skin my wheel. Um, so... That's the deal. I've got one section halfway on, and I'm thinking about cutting it and putting a seam for each section. I'm doing a three-piece wheel. So that is it. Um,